Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just with Mahesh. So today we wanted to see an interview question on identity aware proxy. Uh, basically this was one of my first interview question uh, way back in 2018 time period where I got something on uh, identity aware proxy. The concept or the question was different but uh, the topic was on IAP. So basically I thought let me share this uh, interesting one. Uh, <coughs> let's look into the video. So uh, if you look into our channel, right, basically we have some uh, videos already on IAP. So the way you can search it is just go search and you should be able to see it. So the video which I wanted to share today is uh, let me just create a instance. Uh, the key part with respect to IAP specifically with the TCP forwarding is you need to make sure the VM is having an internal IP address. So I'm just going to make it in central A. Um, and I'm going to leave everything default uh, for this one for simplicity reason I'm going to make it as no service account um, let's go to the networking the most important piece is I'm going to use default VPC and the external IP address this is the important stuff for IAP to work so I'm going to make this as none so that's it by the time the instance gets created just wanted to show I'm currently creating all the stuffs as uh, Mahesh so that's what I'm using currently learn GSP with Mahesh and this user is basically having a owner use uh, role and I have one more uh, user simple GCP user which we often use in our videos so this user is having compute admin and IAP secure tunnel user so this is something which we see and because I'm using the default VPC uh, so this is the default VPC uh, the standard firewall rules are op uh, used which is something open to the whole world the RDP and SSH okay this is the current setup which I have now uh, so far so good so so far we have not seen anything special in the video so the special thing which I wanted to show in the video is uh, you may look into various uh, articles all those things one thing which they mention is for IAP to work IAP API has to be enabled what I wanted to show is you don't need that so you don't need that without an IAP API enabled we can do it that's what I wanted to show so to verify that so let me just go to the APIs and services library and uh, let me basically search for IAP and you will see that uh, the IAP API is not at all enabled to be very frank this is a fresh uh, uh, project so this is basically the batch 9 which I'm currently running in cloud architect so it's a very very fresh project I have not even enabled this uh, till now so it's very clear it shows and if you still doubt maybe there's a goof up which Mahesh is trying to do so just to verify it let me just uh, launch my uh, this thing and show you um, the list of APIs enabled so that way you will be able to know it so just wanted to share my the knowledge which I have gained folks uh, uh, <clears throat> if something is wrong do let me know in the comment section happy to correct it but this is what I observed it so without IAP it works so that's what I observed it let's just wait for the cloud shell to launch and we will try to use G cloud services list and by that we should be able to know what is basically enabled what is not enabled the cloud shell has launched up so I have typed the command well in advance so let me just type it and see what is the result it is going to show so starting from the first one app engine BigQuery cloud some 15 services are going to be enabled by default so nowhere I see uh, what iap.googleaps.com so that's what we see so far so uh, okay so if I just go up anything which starting with I the APIs which is starting with I is IAM IAM credentials that's it nothing else folks so it is very clear that uh, the API is not enabled so even if I refresh it one more time because this is the most important point that's the reason I wanted to repeat it and show you so it is not enabled so now I wanted to show uh, both the users with uh, IAP secure tunnel user role with uh, the necessary uh, admin, uh, compute related role like compute instance admin role or a owner role should be able to SSH into this VM with uh, internal IP address is what I wanted to show basically now if you basically look into the IAP uh, 
port forwarding stuff, right? Uh, they primarily mention you have to have a specific net block, which is 35.235.240.0 slash 20. Uh, a firewall rule has to be open. But since we have something much, much broader, which is not a recommended one, so much broader one, so even that is not required. Uh, so no IAP API to be enabled, no firewall rule to be enabled. If it is basically default VPC, we should be able to do is what I wanted to show. So first, let me just do the normal SSH. And when I do SSH, you should be able to see, I will be able to SSH into it uh, soon. And in uh, Linux, there is a beautiful command called as who command. So when you type that who, you will be able to know uh, from where basically the user has logged in. So if I type who, you will see this. And if I just go back to this one, and basically show you this command. Look at this one, folks. It very clearly shows it is basically coming from IAP. Okay, this is one proof that it is really working. So let me show you one more proof. So for this one, right, uh, I want to use my cloud shell. So <clears throat> let me use this one. Uh, so if you see, uh, when I put gcloud config list, these commands could be really, really important for an associate cloud engineer uh, certification is what I would say. So I have log logged in as uh, Learn Gisp with Mahesh, the project batch nine, which is currently the one. So let me connect to the same instance, which we have instance one in US Central A. Uh, if I try to do this, I should be able to see IAP tunnel. Uh, so this is all what? IAP documentation, all those things. So uh, it's listening. It's listening is what I show. Uh, now, just to verify that it is really working, let me use putty. So localhost triple uh, four threes. If I click on this, I should be able to see, I would be able to connect it, folks. Connecting it. So I have to just enter the username, basically. Uh, now, you need to have a, a the SSH key generated, then you should be able to log in. So that's something not that relevant, but I'm able to connect it. So if you feel no, this is not really something which is working, I can still show you this part. What I will do is I'll disconnect it. So I'll disconnect it and I'll run the putty window again. So I have the putty window. So let me click on open. Uh, so now what I should see is basically connection refuse. So meaning it very clearly shows it does uh, listening on that port and connecting okay this is one thing so as a owner maybe you may say as a owner you can do everything so uh, so let's try to do that part also so let's log in as basically uh, this user who has the necessary uh, 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 the authorization uh, to basically get into the system so he can authenticate and should be also able to authorize that he should be able to log in through the stuff so let's try to do this so how do i switch the profile basically i can use this option called as configuration list if i type it it will show me the configurations I have two configuration these commands again as i mentioned could be really really helpful for uh, associate cloud engineers so activate simple. So when I do this, I'm activated. So now just do gcloud config list. It should show the details about this. Just to verify because he's just a compute uh, instance admin and IAP secure tunnel user role. If I just do gsutil ls just to show that I'm the right user I have logged in as, you will see that uh, it is going to show an error does not have a access but this person can generate uh, the uh, uh, can start the tunnel basically start IAP tunnel is what it's going to show so let's just wait for it it's working folks it's working so let me just use the uh, putty and show that I will be able to connect it I'm there so let me click on open Sorry, I guess I had written a port wrongly. So let me just again type it and let me connect it one more time. So I'm able to see that stuff, folks. Let's just disconnect it. So that's the video which I wanted to share basically. Um, so 
as long as uh, you have the right IAM role uh, with the right firewall rule I personally feel basically without enabling identity of a proxy for basically for TCP uh, uh, forwarding it should work without that is what I feel uh, I may be totally wrong this could be a wrong concept but this is what I have observed it or it could be the other way it could be a bug basically I'm not sure but this is a small observation which was basically buzzing me for a long time I thought I'll do a video and share it with you uh, but say for example when you turn on IAP for for, uh, SS, uh, for HTTPS resources right then you have to enable the API uh, otherwise it's not going to work but for basically TCP forwarding without this also works is my understanding and that's what I tried to show you do let me know if there's any mistake here or something it could be because of this it worked do let me know in the comment section happy to correct myself so that's the video which I wanted to share today thank you for watching